Okay folks, here it is. Welcome to the personal property tour for Windcross, East Lynx and Leaven. These properties don't come up very often, so they're extremely desirable and they're one of the most attractive and most sought after areas in the whole of Leavenmouth. This is like the equivalent of the scores in St Andrews to the Leavenmouth area. Everybody wants to live here, but not everybody can because there's so few of these properties and they don't come up very often. Look where I am right now overlooking. This is the 16th fairway at the Leaven Links Golf Course. Now, if you don't know where the Leaven Links Golf Course is or what it was, it was previously an open, open qualifying golf course for the Open itself. And it actually hosts the oldest amateur stroke play championship in the world, which is the gold, med the gold medal as well. Now, you only come here if you live here, because basically you come in here, and this is the property right there, and it's a no-through road after that. So if, you're, if, you're, if you live here, you come here. If you're visiting someone, you'll come here as well. There is a driveway to the side, which you can get up to a garage in between the houses, but this is the house itself. And as I said, this is the view itself. We'll talk more about where that view is too in the background, because I can see Berwick Law, I can see Leith, I can see Berwick, I can see Edinburgh as well. I can see them all over there, but we'll see that when we get to this top floor, which is amazing when you see the views. You could sit there all day long and watch that. But a beautiful front garden, all nicely, low maintenance, which ticks my box straight away. Low maintenance front garden. As I said, four bedroom, two reception. First of all, as we come into the main front hall here, into the vestibule, so you've got plenty of space for cloaks if you want them either side of the, the door here. Into the main reception hall at the front. It's a real good size. We'll see that from a different angle when we come back downstairs here. But you can see it's a real good size. We're gonna go upstairs first, show you the three double bedrooms and the bathroom up there. But first of all, when you get to the top of here, plenty of natural light coming from that window to the roof. Um, you've got plenty of storage cupboard around the corner there, but we're going to go into the bathroom first of all. So four piece bathroom, there's the cupboard there, plenty of storage in there. Good size four piece bathroom here. You've got the bath in here, to one side, and then you've got the shower. Shower enclosure there, thermostatic shower, to the other side. Now, as we go through, first of all, just point out the attic, floored attic. There's a huge amount of space up there. I don't know whether they could develop it further. You'd need to get permissions to do that and work all that out. But it's a huge area. It could be perfect for storage. But for me personally, I would be looking at, if I was a younger member of the family, it'd be perfect for my ski electric set or maybe my Hornby Railways or anything like that. Maybe the older generation as well, to be honest. I know a lot of people that have got a huge Hornby collection. Anyway, off to the rear of the property, we've got the first double bedroom. What I like about this, the features is the cornice. So the cornice is nice and ornate and, and fitting with this and keeping wet. And it's perfect for the area as we look over to that window. And, and the feature to that window where it comes in like that and just goes off to the front there as well. Just that unique feature about this and the way it's done. And you'll see more about that out the back. Now there's the garage out the back there, this one. And then you can see a sneak peek of the garden. But this is the ninth hole on the Leaving Links golf course. So you're between the ninth, uh, the ninth fairway coming down here into the green itself. And then at the front, you've got the 16th fairway of the golf course. So really good sized room, nice and deep here actually. Now across, as we look at, quick look at that, that's a nice big spacious area up here. We're going to go into this area. Now, games room, TV room, family room, whatever it was, but this is originally a bedroom, so it's been converted for use to that. But it could easily be put back to the bedroom if that's what you're needing it for. And then when you go, you look at this and you think, wow. Look at these views right across the golf course. So we'll talk about that a bit more when we get next door because they've got a bay window in that one in the next room. So again, as I come round, you can see a sneak peek about this again and into the next final bedroom upstairs, which is this big, huge main bedroom. But what I notice about that as well is you look at that ornate cornice, original to here. See, it's all the way around there. Beautiful. One of these features you'll never ever get in any other properties. It's very, very rare to get them because it because of the expense it costs to do things like that now. Um, bay window to the front, no surprise, we've got two chairs sitting there 
just to sit and look at that view all day long. So let me show you that view. So I can see the Bass Rock just over there. So you can see the Bass Rock, and then in the background you'll have Berwick Law just through the mist. I can even see the wind turbines on the hill over in, in Berwick itself. And then you come along and you've got Leith as you come along there, and then across to the side you'll see Edinburgh. Now on, on a New Year's Eve, on you know special occasions, you'll see the fireworks over there, easily over in the distance over there. And then it goes away into the town centre as well. You can see that, so you can see the steeple at Leaven Parish Church, just over the houses over there in that area. So you can see the steeples over there and it shows you in proximity to how it is, how close it is to the high street. So easy walking distance to the high street, cafes, bistros and restaurants. You've got the Thistle Golf Club there, you've got the Leaven Golf site there as well. They both play this course out the front here. And then off to the side, I can just see over the water there, I can see Shell Bay, Ely Point over there as it comes round, all the way round on the Fife Coastal Path, as we come all the way round. And you can just catch a glimpse of Lower Largo at the end there, just in there, and there's Lower Largo there. And it comes all the way round, and you can walk all the way round easily and comfortably. I've done it plenty of times over here. So that's, boy, that'll never go, that'll be a different view every single day. There's something about it, it just changes every day. So looking around in the rest of the room, and it gives you an idea of the proportion and the depth. And then as we come back out, I'll see you downstairs. So here we are downstairs on the ground floor. It let me tell you and flip the camera around. As I said before, about the huge amount of spaces coming to the reception area at the front in the hall here. We're going to go off to the right hand side first of all to look at the sitting room to the front. So really good sized sitting room as you can see as we come round. And again, you've got that beautiful bay window to the front here. The ornate cornice all the way round as well. As we come round, I'll just give you a nice slow motion right round there and the views out to the front. As before, look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And then off to the back. Let's go into the lower bedroom. So this is the final fourth bedroom downstairs. Um, now just off to the side here, I'll just tell you about this, this is a big walk-in cupboard, plenty of storage in here. There is a hatch in here which takes you into the, under the floor and it's got plenty of space there for storage and also if you're a wine connoisseur, it could be the perfect place to keep that under that floor there. So that's how big it is downstairs, it's all lit up as well if you want it to be. Um, off to the final bedroom to the rear here, the great thing about this is it's got an ensuite shower room. Now, why would you want that? Because if you want one level living for one member of your family, maybe it's an elderly member of your family with you, uh, they will be on one level here because they've got their bedroom, they've got their uh, ensuite shower room, they've got the dining room, the kitchen's off of there, we'll see that in a minute, and they've got the living room to the front. So what more could you ask for? And then as I said, if we take a look around here in the double bedroom, really good size, plenty of space for storage in the wardrobes and that, and into your Shower room, so sink, WC, and thermostatic shower in there, so ideal. Okay, so let's pop back out, and off to my left here, and then into the dining room area. Again, you've got this feature window where it comes in at an angle, and then straight across the back there. I love it. So plenty of room in here for dining room, dining table and chairs. You could probably fit at least 10 in there, to be honest. A good storage in there, there's a big huge long cupboard that goes in there and it's a, it could be a perfect laundry area and also it has a condenser boiler and plenty of storage in there, so more or less like a larder. As we'll come back this way to let you see it as we come out and we'll go round into the kitchen next. And here we are, the kitchen, really good sized kitchen either side, plenty of storage cupboards either side, you can see where you can get a freestanding dishwasher, your washing machine, fridge freezer, patio doors out to the rear, we're going to go out there in a minute. You've got your oven, your high level oven and your grill and your space for a microwave. You've got your hob as well and your extractor above. Now you do have a doorway out to the side. We're going to choose to go out to the doorway out to the patio to the rear here and just as we pull back you'll get to see more in this area here. Okay, so let's pop out the back. This is what I love about this. See the guys are on the golf course, at the green there. 
Now I love this. This garden is right down and it's nice and secluded. It's nice and private as well. So if this is the sort of thing you're looking for, this could be ideal for you. Very, very quiet and idyllic. And then off to the side here, we've got through this pergola, we've got this nice seating area if that's what you want, just a wee seating area to the side. But ideally, this is the place where you want to spend most of your time if it's nice and sunny, because the sun hits the back of there mostly all the time. Now, there's a gate out to the side to get access into your garage there overall, and into the, up the side there and into the garage. Um, and then you can go on, as I said, down into your, more or less a sunken garden, isn't it? So I'm just going to stay quiet for a while, just to let you hear. See that sun beating down. We're literally sitting at 1.40 just now, so that's literally south facing right there. So right on the front of this house, the morning to evening, it's going to be, the sun's going to be on there most of the time, and on this part of the back garden, it's going to hit this bit as well. So this is why it's a perfect sun trap. So if it's a bit more of a drizzly day, you can sit here perfectly well, and it's nice and private. Look, literally no one overlooking you, except your own property. You've got a wee glimpse out the side of the other next door, but that's it really. If you're sitting here, you've got perfect privacy in here. So ideal if this is what you're looking for. So let me just take a seat and recap before we finish off. Four bedroom, two reception, semi-detached property. One of the most desirable areas in Leavenmouth. Definitely. Nestled perfectly between the ninth, the ninth green and the 16th fairway of the Leading Lynx golf course. Easy access straight over to the beach, the Fife Coastal Path. If you want countryside, you can just nip up to Silverburn Park, which is just up the Red Ash Path there at Schooney Golf Club. Schooney Golf Course is just over there, just over from me as well. You can basically nip over this wall if you're energetic enough, nip over the wall. Or you can just go along and up the side Red Ash Path into Schooney Golf Course, Municipal Golf Course as well. So there's two golf courses in close proximity. You're on one here, and then you're just around the corner from the other one over, over, over to this side as well, over to my right hand side. Um, okay, so if you're cycling, if mountain biking, if uh, running, if walking is your thing, if you've got pets, they're going to love it here as well. It is the perfect lifestyle choice for someone. If golf's your thing, I think it's clearly obvious that this is the one for you. This doesn't come up very often, as I said before. Um, it's easy access into the um, into the high street. Um, You've got the train station as well in 2024, which is in spring, that'll be finished in Leavenmouth. So easy access onto Edinburgh and Dundee and everything like that. Um, easy commuting as well, to be honest. Um, and working from home could be the ideal opportunity. I'll just pop out for lunch. So you're sitting out your back garden. What more could you ask for? It's perfect. Really the lifestyle choice that you'd want. Welcome to God's country, people. Um, there's more details on this post in the link above or below. You can click on them, you can see the photograph and descriptions. If you need to contact us, you can message us direct on this post. Or you can contact us on 01333 421 774. Until next time, guys, I'm Jim Parker for Five Properties TV.